That's how strict my government is. Very Christian in his morality, its ethics. Now, somebody had published a pamphlet with the nine extracts from the Holy Bible. Hey yo, what's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, it's your boy Jesse Keegan and we are Funny Jesse. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video, but before we get into the reaction guys, I want to thank everybody out there who've been able to subscribe to the channel, who've been able to give us uh, lovely comments on the comment section below, you guys are really, really amazing. So right about now we're going to do another reaction video and this one right here was suggested by so many people and they suggested that I should go react to pornography in the bible and this is by sheikh ahmed did that yeah so without any further ado let's get it the old man gave it to her and he heard it and his daughter-in-law by the roadside and made her pregnant and she bought twins fares and zara there's a long detail about it long story very spicy reading i didn't know at one time that all these things were in the holy bible i was looking for the other books you know called the Arabian Nights, the unexpurgated edition by Fitzgerald. And I got it and I read it, you know. But I didn't know that for 26, 25 cents I could have got the Bible and I could have got something more spicy than in the Arabian Nights. I didn't know that. You must know. You see, so 10 cases of incest in the Book of God. Book of God. For, for what purpose is God telling you all this? That father and daughters, father-in-law and daughter-in-law, brother and sister, son and mother. For what reason? Why is he telling you all this? Now, the type of stories that you read naturally creates the type of mentality that you have. This is a foregone thing. If you eat junky foods, you become a junky. If you read filthy, dirty stuff, your mind becomes filthy and dirty. What you are seeing, reading, you act it out. That is how pornography works. So, in this holy book, there is a beautiful chapter, the highest form of pornography that you can think of. In my country, my government banned extracts from the Bible. It's a very strong government, very Christian. Of course, you know, it has this unjust policy of apartheid, but religiously, it's one of the most religious communities of the Christians in the world. You know, some of the things that I can buy here, your Playboy magazine and something else like that from Kennedy Airport or from Chicago, I land in South Africa and I go to jail for two years. That's how strict my government is. Very Christian in its morality, its ethics. Now, somebody had published a pamphlet with the nine extracts from the Holy Bible, without adding, without deleting anything, nine extracts from the Holy Bible. And this was sent, somebody sent it to the publication board, and the publication board declared this undesirable, it means banned. And there were two priests on the board when they banned this. But these poor priests, they didn't know that it was from the own Holy Book. They didn't know it. Can you imagine? Verses from the Bible, nine extracts banned. My country, for one word, a one four-letter word, they had banned a book called Lady Chatterley's Lover. One word. One offensive word. For 20 years, the book was on the banned list. They have rebanned it. Now they've grown up now. More mature. They said, now, I think the people are mature enough to read it. That one word. Here are nine extracts which are undesirable. We say, on the same basis, you should ban the Holy Bible. But of course, you know, they, they live by it, they take an oath by it, so it's very, very difficult. But they have done the job. They have given it to us that this is undesirable. Pornography of the highest order. George Bernard Shaw, a British playwright, he says, this is the most dangerous book on earth. He says, keep it under lock and key. Your children must not have access to it. The Plain Truth magazine, you know, the Armstrong family, here, yeah, American, American. They are printing 8 million and 80,000 a month for free distribution. The Armstrong family, plain truth. They, in one of the magazines, they say that many a censor will give this Bible an X rating. Gross. 
mainly a censor. Book of God. Is it the book of God? I dare any Christian as you can come forward and read it to your audience, to your, to your congregation. Read it. No decent man can read it to his mother, his sister, his daughter, or even to his fiancée if she is a good woman. You can't read it. If God Almighty was not ashamed to reveal such filth and dirt, I'm asking why should you be ashamed? Are you holier than God? Can you ever be holier than the Almighty? Can you be? That's what it means. If God spoke those things, wrote those things, dictated those things, which I dare not read it to you, Book of God, Book of God, that you are ashamed to utter to your congregation. Says, no. So there are cases and cases, you know, from his own writing, which we can prove that, look, this is not the Book of God. Wow. Um, this is... Uh, this is so informative, if I may say, <clears throat> I have never ever heard of the Bible having pornographic type of uh, maybe statements or probably writings in there. Um, I don't know, but since it has been um, projected here according to what Sheikh Ahmed did that, um, is trying to say is that the Bible has some sort of a pornographic uh, probably messages or maybe statements and whatnot uh, so it's um, I mean why should uh, the book that was created by God or the book that was written by God have such kind of of things in there you get it I mean uh, it's it's I mean, I mean okay it's so bad but at the same time you start thinking about like oh, 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 is, is, is it that uh, is the Bible that we are reading now that has those kind of context in there or is the one that was there before I believe that um, like they say the Bible has been revisited almost like 11 times so probably they tried to change a lot of things in there but I believe the first Bible that was created wasn't the same as what we have today the one that we have today has been concocted to uh, some different type of things. It's been mixed with chaffs and all those things. I mean, by the time you sieve to have that pureness, it's going to take uh, a lot of time. That's why it's, there's a lot of conflicts here and there. You can find the bad in the Bible and you can find the good in the Bible. You understand? I mean, there's so um, many things that you would really want to even read and even just follow them because it's just so disturbing but again they're so but again there's some lovely um, messages in there you get it so it's um people say it's book of death and uh it's a book of death and life or something according to the greek uh whatever i read somewhere it was talking about uh, it's a book uh, yeah it's the book of life and death something like that and Bible means Biblios uh, or something like that like Holy Helios Biblios or something like that in the in, in Latin or something and it means um, the, it means this um, the uh, what the Sun or something I don't know I was reading somewhere but don't quote me anyway um the message is is, uh, is okay informative because not many people will understand that the Bible has such kind of statements but again i would want to go and do research and find out if it really 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 has it i do i wouldn't want to just conclude like hey it has pornographic whatever things no i would want to go and do a little bit of research then after my analysis that's when i can come up with a conclusion that hey this is true but anyway but if this is the truth that is being mentioned over here then something is wrong something something is really wrong um, something went wrong down the line or something probably changed that's what I'm thinking but anyway such a lovely information over here anyway guys if you feel like I reacted to this video in a better way to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in my comment section tell us exactly what you want us to react to or what you feel about the reaction that I did just make sure to go on the comment section and just um, say something say anything do you believe that there are those uh, uh, pieces and bits of pornography in the bio just let me know in the comment section below and also um, 
if you have any kind of reaction and you feel like you wanna you know uh, give it to me to react to or give it to us just let us know in the, just let us know in the comment section below and we're gonna do it for you and the most important thing is don't forget to subscribe to our channel that may keep on subscribing they will give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content and last but not the least we're gonna see you rather we're gonna see you in the next video and peace out